New model VW Tuareg, 73 plate, done 11,400 miles. I absolutely loved the pre-facelift. It's a cracking SUV, this. Loads of spec from VW as standard. Great style, and they've just improved that style by adding some new lights, which I'll show you to the rear. They've changed the styling on the front as well. The color is pure white. The spec is a black edition, which I think in the black edition, truthfully speaking, the colors look great anyway, but with the white, you see a lot of the contrast. So obviously you've got the gloss black features. You've got this new illuminated LED running across the front bumper. One thing I do like about this VW Touareg or about them in general is they are a five seater. You've got a huge boot powered by a three litre diesel. So you've got boatloads of power, spec, tech as well. VW do bless you with a lot of assistance systems. Starting from the front, IQ lights, great system. You'll see it on Golf R's, similar cars, high end VWs come with a cracking light system like that. New wheel style, never seen these before. I like them, they work well with the black edition. So you've got a multi-spoke and then it's got a center sort of face on the interior of them as well. So nice, good size wheel as well. So it fills that wheel arch very, very well. Black mirrors, window surrounds, full size panoramic sunroof. I love the interior. This is the big thing for me on these Tuaregs. I looked at similar cars like Audi Q7s, BMW X5s, but the interior is what wins it for me on the Tuareg. You've got plenty of space in the back which is what you would want if you're looking from an SUV. That panoramic sunroof is absolutely massive. So the reason I stress that is a lot of cars, when they do have a pan roof, they're not that big, but what you want is a full roof like that. It's an opening sunroof, which works great. Full leather inside. To be fair, the rear seats don't look like they've actually been sat in, to be honest. It's in very, very good condition, but plenty of space across the back. Isofix points specifically for the children. Gloss black inlays with it being a black edition. When you get to the back again, they've made a nice little addition, which is uh, very cool to say the least. So the VW emblem is now lit up via LEDs. The camera systems, I'll show you when we get to the interior, but they're front rear 360. If I pop the boot, which is the big selling point for me on an SUV, if you're looking at a car like this, it's probably because you need to carry something of substantial size. So huge boot space, air suspension, so partner that with your three litre diesel V6, 286 brake horsepower these engines are, so plenty of power from them. Automatic tailgate, which again, always a nice feature on a car like this. This car listed originally at somewhere around about 70,000 pounds. We're selling it for considerably less than that. So huge saving from new, low miles for its age, but this is where the thing really takes over compared to other SUVs for me. That screen in the middle is 15 inches in size controls absolutely everything from your cameras, your heated seats, your audio, everything is controlled from there. You still have that huge virtual cockpit. Seats are electric, you've got lumbar support and they're also memory settings. So again, I've said it a few times, if you have, or oh, this is gonna be the main family car, you're not debating about who's left the seat in the wrong position. The air suspension you can control from the back. There's different settings to the front as well. So if you were gonna go off-roading it, you can do that, no problem whatsoever. Eight-speed gearbox. And for me, one thing I noticed when I drove this car is it's very, very quiet. Three litre diesel V6, plenty of power, but it's quiet at the same time. So if it is going to be a mixture of city driving, suburban, rural, then you can do it no bother whatsoever. That display is one of the best that you can physically get, in my opinion. I don't think many will disagree with me. From there, you control all the stuff I spoke about. So one thing I like with the VW have done is they've got away with, gone away with all these buttons and everything in here. You literally just control it off there. So your seat heating, your heated steering wheel, Everything else is all controlled from there. If I press this button up here, you control everything. It's very tablet-like feel to it. Your navigation, your, your Apple CarPlay if you wanted to. If I pop it in a reverse, rear view, aerial view, then you've got different views if you want to play around with down here, 3D view. So there's all sorts going on to help you park it, drive it safely. On the topic of driving it safely, you've got adaptive cruise control, speed limiter, heated wheel, lovely place to look and sit. If I slide the roof open, Give me two seconds, there we go. So not only is it a huge opening roof, but the section that does open is literally 50% of the roof. So it lets in a lot of air, a lot of light into what is one of the best looking cabins that money can buy. But I must stress on this, it's the saving from new. So new model, huge saving, physically available, great condition. So it's just an all round great buy. Cracking SUV, I love them for the drive. Very car like, they don't drive like an SUV, they drive like a car which is exactly what you want if you're looking for something like this. If you're interested, it is for sale. You're more than welcome to book an appointment with myself and come down and have a look at it. If you want to do that, you'll find my number below. Feel free to give me a ring. I'll answer any questions that you've got.